What's up guys, this is Brian. Today I'll be showing you guys how to set up your Revelator for streaming. Okay, okay. so the first thing you want to do, obviously you have to register your Revelator on the mypersonas.com website, um, is download Universal Control. First thing you do is make sure your Revelator is set to multi. So there, it should be set to multi. Okay. And then the next thing you're going to do is open your Revelator app. There we go. What you've got here are some basic presets um, for your microphone. So broadcast, female voice, screamer, slap echo. So these are like your presets and effects. Cool. Then over here you've got your fat channel a number of, it's got a number of different effects that are already loaded so what you can do is either leave it as is or you can decide what you'd like on and what you'd like off just by selecting you can also go into here and select some basic presets as well for each setting Right, so for your comp for your EQ there, you can select a different EQ. You could also press this button here, which allows you to get into the details and change some things for yourself and decide how you want to set it. So EQ, you can do some EQing, limiter, and you've also got your vocal effects over here. So doubler, detuner, vocoder, all these different cool effects that you can mess around with for your voice. Cool. And then over here you have your reverb. You can select whether it's going to be a small, medium, or a large reverb. You can also come in here and change some of the parameters as well. Um, you can also save your own presets. As you can see here, it will show you you've got a number of empty um, banks that you can save your own settings to cool and then down here we've got your microphone here this is your microphone control uh, we've got pan as well then you've got your playback loopback and loopback to these are I'd call them channels different channels for your audio routing so you can use these different channels to route different things to come through these different channels and then you know control the levels independently so for example if you've got music that's going to be playing out of iTunes for example as your background music or bed music for your podcast what you're going to do is you're going to select you're going to route your audio to come from iTunes into playback here and then whenever you play on your iTunes it's going to come through here and you can control the volume there and then let's say you want to have backtracks playing through Logic or Studio One um, or FL Studio, whatever door that you're using. You can have your backtracks being routed through to Loopback One and so on and so forth. So you've got these three options here. Then you've got your reverb. So you can set the level of your reverb so you can have a nice little reverb going and you can have your microphone sounding a little bit more interesting then we've got these tabs here so let me just actually full screen this so we can see everything so these tabs here you've got your headphones here and there's your volume headphone volume you do have a headphone control um, on your revelator as well so that'll be in on its default that'll be your headphone level but when you push it in you mute your microphone but if you want to use this to change the gain of your microphone you're gonna press and hold monitor and when it turns green you can change the gain for your microphone super easy okay cool now let's um, do some routing okay so First thing I'm going to do is go to my computer audio, set it to Revelator like that. 
So my input and output to be on Revelator like that. Okay. Then the next thing I'm going to do is set up my backtracks. So I'm going to open Studio One here. Okay, Studio One, boom. Um, so this is Studio One, it's opened. Um, so let's say I create a new track and then I want to bring in a backtrack. So I'm going to go import here. Um, let's see. Okay. Cool. So there's my backtrack. So that's my that's my backtrack. Uh, just as an example, I'm just going to use one one backtrack. Now I'm going to need to route this to my Revelator mixer. So it's already selected onto Loopback One. So I'm going to use Loopback One for my backtracks. Cool. So now if I press play over here. And we take a look at the mixer. We have, have Studio One, sorry, coming through Loopback One. I'm going to open YouTube, which I'm going to use for my bed music. So let's say there's my track, Jamie Cullum. And if I show you here, you can see it coming through there. If you raise the volume, you actually hear. That'll be maybe my intro music to my podcast or blah, blah, blah. Turn that down. What's up, guys? Welcome to the podcast. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. So this is OBS. This is what I use for streaming. So we've got nothing on our streaming um, device. Um, so there we've got scenes over here. And then our sources over here. And then this will be our mixer. So let's add a audio capture device. So I'm going to go here, boom. Audio input capture, and we could call that main audio add source. Then I'm going to select Revelator. Boom. So there's my audio. There, it's coming through. Then I need my video capture source. So I'm going to go there, and I'm going to say webcam. Add that, go select my webcam, and there it is, boom. So now I've set up my stream, so I'm ready to ready to go live, right? So I'm going to go over to YouTube, and then go live. Okay, so this is where I'm going to make it private, actually. Make it private, and I'm going to save there. Uh, no kids. Save. And then I'm going to copy my stream key. Copy. Go back to my software. Go to Preferences. Go to my stream. And then what you want to do is paste your stream key there, and then you go live so let's check what's happening over here so it should be starting ha ah, there we go there we go now we're starting so there's my revelator I'm just gonna show you guys quickly there's my revelator microphone and Sure you can hear it. So now what I'm going to do is quickly go to my software here. And that's pretty much how you set yourself up for your stream. So there we go. I'm live. Let me just go. Yeah. So it's that simple, guys. It's that simple to set yourself up and go live with your Revelator. It's actually very, very convenient, I think. So you can plan your whole show, make sure everything is looking great, go to your encoder software. You can actually stream directly to 
Facebook or YouTube, but I prefer using encoder software so that I can, uh, because the stream will be more stable than if I'm streaming directly to the platform. So, and that's pretty much how you set yourself up to stream using your revelator. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Very easy as well. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks guys for watching. Um, I hope this was informative and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, drop me a thumbs up. Um, if you don't like the video, you can drop me a thumbs down and also just let me know what you didn't like about the video so I can work to change it. Cool. Thanks so much, guys. Cheers.